Duplicator has now gone pro. This means there are now two versions of Duplicator, the free version and also a pro version. And this means that the features that people ask for that require uh, a lot more work have been added and also will be added to the pro version. So right now you can see the comparison of the free and the pro version. So going to the bottom of Duplicator now, you can see it says Go Pro. And here's the comparison list. So Corey, the developer, has now uh, been joined by Bob. And together they are making their pro version. So some of the things that are being done for pro version, fixes, stuff like that, will also drip down to the free version. Some of the features the pro version has that free version does not have is scheduled backups. So that means you can set a schedule sometime during the week that you want to have the site backed up. And it can be backed up to Dropbox, it can be backed up to FTP, and also at a later time, Amazon. And it also has dedicated customer support. And they're also working on making it easier for people who are larger sites for timeout issues, stuff like that, and having a problem with using the free version it should now become easier with the pro version with the larger sites. So when I click check it out, it goes directly to the duplicatepro.com website where you can purchase the pro version. I already have installed it right here. So I'll go straight to settings. And in the settings area, there's a licensing or you just insert your license and click activate and you see it's I have activated my license here so we'll, we'll just start with some of these areas here so I can for instance start with the first template and I'll just create a new template here This is if I want to make some changes, uh, filter a few things out, for instance. If there are certain extensions I want to remove, I would just make a, a template for this. And here I can also put in the database and things like that for the new host to where I want to upload it. So I can just save this as, I'll just call it updated template. and save template. I will then move up the list to storage. Here I can choose then a new storage type that I want to use. So I'll just call this Dropbox. Backup to Dropbox. So I can choose from the regular local server, FTP, or Dropbox. Right now we'll just do Dropbox. I can also have it uploaded to another site if I want to. So I'll connect with my Dropbox. So I need to authorize it. Uh, yes, allow. And I can just close this right now. Finalize setup. It's now connected and in place here. So we'll test it out. And it's working. So here we have up to 10 files before they start deleting the oldest packages. On. And I'll just save it as it is. Save provider. And it should now be added to then the list. Okay, so I have the storage to uh, Dropbox here. And let's go to create a schedule. And let's see. I'm going to call this Sunday night. It's a pretty peaceful time to do it. Package template, I'll just do update template. 
I would like to have then I can have a local and Dropbox I can do that and not Monday I will put this on Sunday at we'll put it at 11 o'clock and we'll enable this schedule okay so we have the schedule in place along with backing up to Dropbox and I can also click packages I can create a new package anytime from here or I can go to schedule and run now so I'm just going to packages and I'll create a new package I can use the template if I want to I'll just use up the template storage we'll just do uh, then the local or if I want to I can at the same time also back up to Dropbox so I'll just do that as well and I'll just leave everything as it is I can also create a new search here if I want to so next scans the site and it will go through I can see the total size is in 25 megabytes or right, that's the database and then this the files I have on my website here is a lot 111 megabytes I know I have a lot of different images on my easy web design tutorials website so create build and here you can also follow along and you see it will gradually finish off so I'll just put on pause for a moment it has made the build and as you see right now the package is being transferred to Dropbox folder easy web design tutorials so it's going fairly quick here and as mentioned the site is uh, 111 megabytes so it's almost finished transferring the package to uh, Dropbox so I ran it now and next time this will run will be then Sunday evening at 11 o'clock so I can click the view here and I see I get some information about runtime and the size I can go to settings and I can see the path to where it's being stored right now so the local and then the one for Dropbox I have also opened up Dropbox on my computer so here's Dropbox and in the apps I have Duplicate Pro and as you see from earlier I have a few different archives here already so I already have it so it once a week will then back up the archive and installer to Dropbox so right now it also added this folder here inside here we have an up updated template which I just created a few moments ago the archive and installer file so this is an easy way to just put in the schedule back it up where you need it and just leave it as it is so then this is features for the pro version the free version does not have this so then you can just figure out what you need 